In this video, I will show you how to configure your RS2 Plus base, your RS3 Rover behind me, to communicate over UHF using an external radio. I will now show you the settings. We'll start by connecting to the base. Okay, once connected to the base, we'll put the correction input off, and then we'll go under correction output or base output. Under base output, we'll put this under serial. We'll also set the baud rate. The baud rate, we'll set it at 9600. Then we will save this. Once this is saved, we will go under base settings. Under base settings, we have it set on average single so that the base averages its position from the satellite that it sees. We'll also configure the RTC M3 messages. Under RTC M3 messages, we will switch off Galileo and Beidou, and then we will increase the update rate for GPS and GLONASS to 1 x Once this is done, you will be able to see that your base or your external radio on your base is transmitting where it's written TXRX. There will be a red flashing light. Let's now configure the rover settings on the RS3. We will connect to the RS3 on MLID flow. Once this is connected, we will go on base output and put it off because the RS3 is working as a rover. Once this is off, we will go to correction input. In correction input, we will set it on UHF radio. On UHF radio, we also have to set it on the same frequency as the frequency of the external radio, which is transmitting. For this case, the frequency we used is 467.05. We will also set the bandwidth. Bandwidth at 25.0 kHz means that your data rate is 9600. This is the data rate that we're using. If you're using a lower data rate like 4800, you will select bandwidth of 12.5 kHz. Okay, let me just verify my frequency here. This is supposed to be 05, save. Once it's saved, you will see your rover will start receiving corrections and within a few seconds, you'll get a fixed solution. This has been achieved as you had the beep on the rover to indicate that it's fixed. 